Good morning, you're joining me as we just go past Old Lincoln Station or Old Lincoln Hall as we're heading to Bitten Railway's 50th anniversary. There's a lot going on today, including more trains on the line, tours around their workshop space, and um, they've got a shuttle service from actually the station just past Old and Common, which is a reconstruction, I think, of one of how the virtual trains would have looked back when the station first opened. So let's go and have a grand day out here at Avon Valley Railway. It's always amazing at the size of the machinery they have here. It's only a small little railway, but it's huge. They have lots of events here every year. Like they had the chocolate train last weekend. The fifth anniversary is this weekend. They have English Wine and Food Festival at Teddy Bear's Picnic. And they're like, it's a hoot event, which is always sounds amazing. Um, Teddy Bear's Picnic. I always love Brick Express, and um, that's on the first, of, that's on the first and second of June. So yeah, lots of stuff here. Definitely worth while visits or come on event. This they have trains most weekends during the season as well, so definitely worth paying on the visit. So there is the train ticket for today, and there is the train service leaving the main train service anyway today. We have a second train service called the shuttle for an additional two pound goes from the other tracks. So this is only running between this in, over the common, and back again. Whenever I come here, I always have looking at these big trunk cases. I mean, they must weigh a ton, and the little pigeons in their carry-in boxes. Can you see the pigeon there? There's another one over there. Very similar to what's in this, it's great Britain actually. And there's another stood up carry-in case. There's actually stuff going on in the marquee, so. There's actually a plant display going there as well, so let's go and have a little look over there. These are some of the examples of the chocolate that's made at the Fry's factory, before it's taken over the Cadbury's, before it's taken over the Craft. These are like more modern, and you kind of get over there, you see stuff that's not so modern. And I love this model. 
if we're seeing the chocolate train, you've actually just missed the last time it was on. It was on it last weekend at Easter, but it's back again in October, I think it is. Um, look out for the events called Chocolate Sundays, I think. It's about the middle of October. So we are at our first station of the day. Bitten. Bitten check. <laughs> station here's my ticket and <laughs> we're going first into Oldham Common and then back here and then from here back to the side and then back to Bitten. I get confused at the window I've never actually been on this train before I'm only train to the station so I'm very excited <laughs> We've now arrived at Oldham Common Station and can go and see the train recoupling at the other end. <laughs> I've never actually been on this side of the platform before, I've always walked just the other side, it's quite cool. So now we head to the other end to see it recouple at the other side. I will say I do love these signs. It's really very past resistors. They're quite cool. But here's the train engine coming back again. I can work that out this time. And we're on our way back. Back to Bitten and then from Bitten it goes on to Riverside. It's cool, you can actually see the um, shadows of the steam on the pavement. <laughs>
very similar to a normal drone view, you can just about hear the subtle shag of the steam. I have to see the steam out the window if you look. It's very cool. <laughs> Shouldn't be here too long and then we'll be heading to Avon Riverside. And <laughs> So we've now arrived at Avon Riverside and we're see the same thing this side the train's going to go attach and reconnect from the other side yeah. If you're wondering, this train is normally called, normally called Womble Barrow and it's masquerading as the Wayne Barrow It's off so fast Riverside check it off. Now we head back to Coach B. <laughs> that's what I was for, so that's what I'm going back to. And we are back at Bitten Station. You couldn't really tell the difference between steam train and diesel train because I think largely it's the transport, but it does go silent. Whenever the train stops, it literally goes completely silent, which is very unusual, very cool. Um, the train takes about an hour of the whole, if you do the full loop, including when they actually disconnect and reconnect. So I'm wearing this very fetching <laughs> orange top up because we're going on a yard truck. I can't actually very much, but that's what I'm doing. It's crazy just how much train there is. Underneath the train, train above the tracks, train below the tracks. Anyone remember the name Intercity? As new, she went to Rosedale Shed in London. Stay there a while.
There's the Curtis train, the Fries train. Here is a big shot. There's some big chains. The only of this tour is very often, so it was really fascinating to go backstage. I've met some of my local heritage life. It was really interesting. Like that old, really huge engine. That engine had a sign on it. I don't think for a long time. It said, Rust in Peace. Big shout out to Alan, who is an incredibly knowledgeable tour guide to the yard. Very, very, loads of interesting stories. So if you ever do get a chance to do a tour of the yards here, definitely do it. And on that note, thank you for joining me at my day at Avon Valley Railway. It's definitely worthwhile coming and the other the celebrations. They were amazing. It's been a great day. Do come down and visit if you can. And if you like something similar, I've been there a few times before. So here's another video from there. Yeah, see you there.